Welcome back to Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. A couple little things here before we begin. Uh, different levels. Uh, yes, this is a stairway up to another level of the house. And at one point in time, I think it has some uh, units going from, you know, back and forth here. You can't do that. It's You have to go around the staircase. So just that thing. And then there's also, there's stairs here leading up into the house, but everything's on the same level. So this is not an upper level, and down here is a lower level. There's levels in the game, but in this particular scenario, there aren't uh, levels. So, I don't know, kind of confusing because this is literally a stairway up to the house, but anyway, it's, I don't know. And then there's doorways that are not listed on the, on the setup, but they are on the tiles themselves. So that's a little confusing, and then you got windows here that can be broken in this scenario. They can't be because there's power shields on them. So just a couple of wonky things. Uh, and the other thing is when you do spawning, I've been doing that a little bit backwards too. When you do spawning, you are supposed to spawn all of the zombie spawn points first, and then you reveal the bystanders. I didn't do that up here, and one of my bystanders got overrun and munched on by um, brutes. So I'll have to keep that in mind as well. Just things to keep in mind when you're playing this game. All right, let's begin. We've got, uh, of course, we have Colossus Storm, Wolverine, Rogue. We have one more door to open into this section. We need to take the red objective. Once we take the red objective, we need to get to the exit and get out of here to win the game. We have, I don't know how many zombies, seven and five. We had like 12 zombies, uh, but they are just walkers on the outside of the uh, building now, making their way towards... The building. We have Storm and Colossus here kind of guarding the doorway. And no, you can't close the door again and keep them out. So that's not part of the game. All right, we're going to figure out who's going first. I think we're going to start opening these doors and seeing what's going on. So let's head over uh, and begin with either Rogue or Wolverine. I think we're going to begin with, with uh, Rogue. She has the free open door action. So yes, we will begin here with Rogue. Rogue has uh, zero power, so now she has one power. You get one power at the start of your turn. And she has the lovely free open door uh, ability, uh, which is once during your turn, you may perform one free open door action. So that's going to leave her four actions once this door opens. So boom, she's going to flip the door open, no problem. Uh, and there it is. And now we have exposed the inside of this um, part of the mansion, which is all destroyed. We only have one spawn point for zombies here, so let's get to it. All right, what zombies are we spawning? We're in the yellow zone, and uh, we get a couple of brutes. Oh, perfect, that's Rogue's punching bag. <laughs> punching bags are the brutes. So two brutes show up in that location. All right, so we do that first. <laughs> All right, now that we've done the zombie uh, spawning, now we can look at the bystander that shows up there. And the bystander is Betty Ross. When moving, you may spend one power to move plus one zone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Add an extra movement. I'm going to have to find her miniature, and then we're going to come back. Rogue has four actions. All right, so Rogue has four actions, and she is just going to wander right in here with these two brutes and punch their lights out, possibly. So she's going to go one, two, three, and for her fourth and final action, she will spend her one power to give her an extra die. Well, let's take a look at her mighty punches. So if she usually rolls two dice hitting on a three plus. She's going to be rolling three dice hitting on a three plus. And her uh, other special ability is, um, let's look at here again, if we focus, is uh, enemies have minus one toughness against her mighty punches. Cool. So the brutes normally have two toughness, but against rogue, they only have one. All right, we're going to go with the dice tray. We're going to be rolling up uh, three dice. She used her one power, and she just needs a three plus on a couple of them. Come on, rogue. And she only punches the lights out of one of these guys. Wow. <laughs> One of them dodged out of the way. And that's the end of her action. So now she's in here with one of these guys. Okay, that's the end of Rogue's turn. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to have Wolverine going next. Wolverine uh, can power up, but he's he already has full power. He's at four. And what is he going to do? Um, He's going to go ahead. 
What does he want to do? I think he's going to spend his dash heroic trait. Discard when moving. Spend any amount of power to move that many additional zones. So he will do that. He's going to spend two of his four power to move two additional zones. So for one action, he can basically move three zones. One, two, three. He's like, Rogue, you need some help. All right. And then for his second action now, he will attack the Brute. And let's take a look at him. He rolls three dice, hits at a four plus, and does, um, he has exploding dice. So if he rolls a six, he gets another uh, six. All right. So he's going to spend his remaining two power. Uh, so he's spent it all, and he's going to and then end up rolling five dice, hitting on a four plus. I know it's super overkill, but we really do want to just get rid of this tank unit, this brute. And Wolverine has been itching for a fight for a long time. And he ends up getting just two hits, which is what he needs because these guys have two, uh, two toughness. Two hits is enough to just take him out. So that was a tough go, but Wolverine took him out. That was Wolverine's second action. Wolverine has two more actions remaining. So he's just going to go one. And for, oh, and he gets uh, an experience. Oh, I forgot, Rogue gets an experience. 12 to, she gets two, 12 to 14. Wolverine gets one, 11, or 10 to 11. Okay, for his final action, he's going to take the red objective. That means everybody gets five experience points for doing it. Okay, um, so let me, let's see, that's going to put Colossus from 17 to 22. Colossus has just ticked over to the orange. All right, that's going to put Storm from 12 to 17. She's not in the orange. That puts Wolverine 11 to 16. He's not in the orange. And that puts Rogue from 14 to, to up to 19. Rogue has gone into the orange zone. Cool. All right, so um, we're going to take a look at Rogue's orange ability, and then we're going to look at Colossus's orange ability, and then we still have Storm and Colossus to go. All right, lots going on. Let's take a look at Rogue. When she, so now she's unlocked her ability here. Absorb, absorb abilities. Once during your turn, you may spend one power to copy any attack and or unlock skill from any other superhero within range one until the end of the... Uh, end of the round so she can take other people's special powers and use them for herself Colossus who's just uh, ticked over now into the orange zone has a fastball special once during your turn you may spend one power to move one other superhero in your zone up to two zones ignoring enemies that superhero may then spend one power to perform one free attack action so <laughs> he can toss people now pretty cool all right over we go, we have two superheroes left. We've got Colossus and we have Storm. So let's figure out what Colossus and Storm are gonna do. All right, I think Storm's gonna come out here and start flinging some lightning around. So for Storm's first action, of course she gets one power. That's gonna uh, give her one power. For her second action, she's gonna start shooting into this zone. Should she do that or yeah, she has four actions. So for her second action, she'll start zapping the walkers with lightning and she gets, uh, can we see that? Ah, uh, yeah, we can just kind of see that. All right, let's take a look at Storm. She's got a pretty good attack. She has lightning bolts. She rolls uh, two dice, hits on the three plus and she's zero to one range. So she's gonna do that a couple of times and then she's gonna back off back into the building. So she's gonna go. Her first attack is just gonna take out one walker. Okay, well, not fantastic. Uh, that takes her to 18. If she takes out one more walker, she's gonna get into the orange zone. <laughs> so, and her second, her third attack, her second attack, her third action, she gets one more, which just takes her into the orange zone. And yes, we're gonna be spawning into orange zone <laughs> When we get to spawning. And for her final action, yeah, she's going to move back here with Colossus. And she's also going to, um, okay, she's got Chain Lightning, but she also has another ability. Oh, my goodness. All right, now she has Chain Lightning. Once during your turn, after attacking with Lightning Bolt, you may perform one free Lightning Bolt attack using the same number of dice as the initial attack. 
Okay, actually she would have got one free lightning attack because she clicked over to orange and because she has chain lightning once during her turn. So she can do that again, actually. So she'll just get a free double attack, two dice attack, and she takes out one more walker. So that's pretty good. She wiped out a bunch of them here, thinning it out. Then she moves back for her final action. Trust me, it all makes sense. And that gives her another experience up to 20. Oh my goodness. All right, we have... Um, that was Storm taking all of her turns. Oh no, and as I was saying, Storm has this. Once during your turn, you may spend a power to allow one other superhero within range two to perform one action, then resume your turn. So she's going to go ahead and spend the one power she just got. And she's going to take Colossus and send Colossus. Uh, yeah, she's going to send Colossus over here, or should she send Colossus there? You know what? She's going to send Colossus out. Colossus wants to go in here and pound on these guys. Because <laughs> he's got four actions. He should be able to take out four walkers. But let's find out, because now it's Colossus' turn. And he was sitting with one power, so he's going to power up. He's got two power, and he's got four actions. So for his first action, he's going to move in here. And for his second action, he's going to go ahead and throw the glove, the Sentinel's hand, uh, at, the, at the walkers right in his space. So we basically roll four dice, one for each walker, and we eliminate one on each five plus, and then the hand goes away. Talk to the hand. All right, so he's in here, and he's just picked up the hand, and he's going to chuck it at the four walkers. So any fives or sixes is going to eliminate the walker. And that's none. So for whatever reason, Colossus didn't do a very good job tossing that hand. He has two actions remaining. Is he going to get stuck out here? I don't know. Um, he's got two power. He's going to spend all of his power and he's going to do an attack for his third action. Uh, so he's going to be rolling four dice hitting on a three plus. I think I got that right. Yeah, four dice hitting on a three plus. Come on, <laughs> Colossus. Take these guys out. And, oh yeah, he's he's the master of one-shot pummeling attacks. Four experience, just like that. And for his final action, he's going to move back here. And that's where he's going to sit. Um, Yeah, that's his final action. He gets four more experience. Uh, he's up to 26 in the orange zone. All right. That's all of our superheroes going. I hope I haven't made any mistakes. Again, as always, check the comments. Lots happening now with, with all the heroic traits and orange abilities and and such. The only one that's not in orange now is Wolverine. All right, we're going to uh, have zombie movement. And the only zombies on the board are the six right here, and they are all just going to move right up here because they're trying to get to Colossus. All right, there we go. That's zombie movement. And now it is spawn time. Oh dear. And I even forgot Colossus. Uh, no, I didn't. He's got... Uh, oh my goodness. Wolverine has Shauna with him. When performing melee attack, me spend a power to have all enemies suffer minus one toughness. He could have done that, but he didn't. All right. It's spawn time. We have the first spawn over here, the second spawn down there, the third spawn here. We are in the orange zone. All right, things are going to get a little rougher. We're into the orange zone. First spawn point is we get a zombie hero. All right, well, Rocket Raccoon and Cyclops have uh, dropped so far. Uh, but now it is time for another zombie hero. Oh, man. So let's see which zombie hero. And they're probably never going to get to our uh, superheroes anyway, but we'll see. We'll see which zombie hero so shows up. Yep, this one. And the zombie hero that's showing up there is Iceman. Three. Superheroes attack suffer minus one to dice results while within range one of him. Ooh. All right, let me find Iceman. And zombie Iceman was pretty easy to find because it's such a cool little uh, clear blue tinted sort of plasticky glass miniature. So there's zombie Iceman on his way to try and do stuff. All right, so that was our first spawn point. I'm just gonna put him off to the side. We, he's got three health, so you have to do three damage to him, and you get minus one on your die rolls. Ooh, he could be tough to take down. All right, second spawn point in the orange. All right, the second spawn point down at the bottom right-hand corner, and the orange is 
three runners. Okay, that doesn't sound that bad, actually. Uh, I shouldn't have said that now because we're probably going to get some absolutely horrific spawning up at the very final spawn point where we already have six walkers congregating trying to uh, uh, swarm over on top of Colossus. But of course, as we can see, Colossus has no problem just pounding things down with one shot. All right, final spawn point up here in the orange. All right, final spawn point in the orange zone at the blue spawn marker and another three runners. Okay, well, um, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's all of our spawns. All right, let me get some more runners out here. So there's quite a few, uh, quite a few things going on here now. Let's have a look. All right, oh, that's, I was gonna put four down. So three runners. Okay, so we got two, four, six walkers, three runners. All right, we're going to back the camera out, and we're going to wrap up our episode for today. All right, well, that's going to wrap up our episode for today. So now we have Zombie Iceman on the board, and uh, superhero uh, zombie superheroes get two actions like runners when they activate. All right, we've got, we just need to get everyone to the exit, uh, and we will win the game. So let's see if I can figure out uh, how to do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to, we're probably going to have one more episode. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. We should finish off next time. Because let's see, Colossus can get to the exit. Storm can get to the exit. Wolverine, one, two, three, can't quite get there. But Storm can push him to the exit. And Rogue can't make it. So we'll, well, we'll see what happens next time. Uh, this episode's gone on long enough. I'm pretty sure we'll finish off next time. So, I know, hate to leave it here, but uh, we're at oh, the 20-minute mark already. So thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow for the conclusion. Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. This is the second scenario, breaking and entering. Thanks so much, and hope to see you tomorrow. All right, one little correction here at the end of the episode. I gave Rogue 2 experience for knocking the lights out of the one brute. She should only have gotten one, so she's sitting at 18 experience, one away from orange, so she's not quite in the orange zone yet. So her and Wolverine both are in the yellow zone. Colossus Storm are both in the orange zone. All right, thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Conclusion, Marvel Zombies, X-Men Resistance. We're doing Mission 2, Breaking and Entering.